What's up everyone? I'm Kirsten Johnson, the Renaissance Woman, and welcome to my show, where today we will be discussing consent and why it's not only important for adults, but for everybody involved. Stay tuned. So what is consent? For those who don't know, the definition of consent is an agreement to do or to not do something agreed upon by a party or two people. Now, I don't think it's very hard for us to understand what it means to give consent. However, it seems that in this day and age, we're constantly still talking about the need for consent, the importance for consent, and why you have to give consent. Consent is not just about sexual encounters. Consent has to do with everything in your life, which is why it's so important to also include children in this discussion. A few months ago, a teacher made headlines because she had actually started to teach children in kindergarten about their bodies. Not only consent, but things along a sexual nature. Now, I don't necessarily agree with the things that she was teaching the children about sexuality at such a young age. However, certain conversations like this need to be had because they're not being had at home. A child who is six years old or sometimes even younger needs to understand what consent is and is not. And it's very important to teach them this because as their parent, as their guardian, you are not always around them. And so what might be okay in your presence might not be okay in anyone else's. They need to know if someone is touching them in an inappropriate manner. They need to know if someone is doing or saying something to them in an inappropriate manner and when and how to give consent and why it is so, so, so important. As a woman growing up in modern day times, I've come across instances where as an adult woman, 32 years old, I still come in contact with times, whether it be men or women who I have to give consent to that still do not understand the difference between yes and no. The sex trafficking rate in this country alone is crazy. Atlanta is a hot hub for sex trafficking. We need to teach these kids that it's not okay to be touched in inappropriate places. It's not okay to be taken to places by people whom they do not know and who haven't been allowed to take them to these places by their adults, by their parents, by their guardians, people who love and protect them and would absolutely miss them if they were gone. Kids need to know the difference between yes and no in the same manner that we teach children the difference between right and wrong. And even if you don't have children, take the time to ask yourself, have you put yourself in instances where maybe you violated someone's consent or lack thereof, or maybe your consent has been violated. Think about those moments, think about how you handled them, and think about how you would handle them going forward. Sometimes we go through things and we need to learn how to deal with it going forward. If you've been put in a position where you feel like your consent has been violated, take a moment to revise, to think about what happened, and if you need help to go and deal with the trauma, re-bringing up all of these things may cause triggers, again, check out my website. Not only are there sources regarding what consent is, but there are also sources for you to uh, seek advice and help to deal with any trauma or triggers that you may experience to this day. Again, consent is not just for an adult or men and women conversation. Consent is for all of us, and it's something that we must all learn in order to appreciate each other's space. Go ahead and click that link in my bio so that you can check out sources regarding consent, sex trafficking, and how to talk to your child about consent. Talk soon.